welcome to this edition of my VIP Masterclass course. Today's class is on triple tonguing and is requested by Jeff and Leo who are getting their triple tonguing up to play the Carnival of Venice. Now, whether you are playing the Carnival of Venice or another piece that needs triple tonguing or perhaps you don't know how to triple tongue yet and you would like to learn how, this Video Masterclass is for you. Thank you for joining. Now, one of the biggest questions I get in regards to triple tonguing is, should I be doing double tonguing first? And my answer would be yes. And I would recommend you going to the Arbin's book and going through the whole double tonguing routines in that book. And then from there, I would go on to the triple tonguing and use this Masterclass course as a supplement to the Arbin's triple tonguing. But if you're watching this video just wanting to get your triple tonguing up now as quickly as possible without doing the double tonguing, that's fine. I'm going to show you how. Now, before you can do any double tonguing or triple tonguing, you need to make sure that you have your single tonguing down really, really well. And a reminder, when we articulate and produce a note through our instruments with the tongue, with articulation, what we want is we want immediate sound from when the tongue hits and the lips vibrate. And as a further reminder, the start of the sound is from the lips, not the tongue, because the tongue by itself just goes. And at this point, it might be a good idea for you if you have not yet done so, visit the video tutorial in this course on articulation from legato to staccato. So once you've done that, let's have a refresher on the single tongue. We want to be using our air with a vowel sound of the sound we want on our instrument. Place your tongue as you're saying Tokyo or Torino. And full air. And remember that the air is going to help push the tongue down so the tongue muscle doesn't have to work as hard as you think it needs to. Now let's practice waking up our tongue and getting the tonguing to go a bit faster and faster. Going on the hand. And playing on one note. In this case, an F. Once you've got that going and you've got immediate sound coming off the lips with your articulation, the air going and the sound you want and you have reviewed the video on articulation from legato to staccato, we are ready to get into triple tonguing. Now there are two ways to triple tongue. One is ta ka ta ta ka ta ta ka ta ta and the other is ta ta ka ta ta ka ta ta ka ta. Now I advise you to know how to do both. Usually when you need to triple tongue in isolation like da 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 ta ka ta ta is fine. Ta ta da da So why don't you try that on your instrument? Slowly first. Ta ta ka ta ta. Say it and then play it. Ta ta ka ta ta. That's slowly. Ta ta ka ta ta. And then faster and faster. The other way to triple tongue is ta ta ka ta. Ta ta ka ta. Ta ta ka ta. Ta ta ka ta. And this way is the best way to triple tongue if you have to triple tongue a long sequence. For example, the ta 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 ta
that speed. Reminder, takata. Takata is for triple tonguing in isolation where takata might be more difficult. Try both ways, learn both ways, and use the one that is best for you. In order to learn triple tonguing, we need to say it as many times as we can. Takata, 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 ta. Notice it's with the air. Takata, 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 ta. And you want to start with just this pattern. Takata, takata, ta. The tongue is a muscle, so it will get tired as you do this. So if triple tonguing is new to you, you are going to have to be able to do it for a little bit of time and then take a break. A little bit of time and take a break. When you feel your tongue getting tired, take a break. It's a muscle. It's the same as working your arms or legs out at the gym. You work out the muscle, take a break. Work the muscle, take the break. Heavy day, light day. Heavy day, light day. As mentioned, the tongue is a muscle and we also want to use that muscle the least amount as possible. We want the air to do the work and we want the gravity to pull our tongue back down. We don't want to get all tense with the tongue. I've been saying ta ta ka ta, that is a T A T A K A. To get it quick, you can try a D A D A G A. That's da 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 or da da ga da da ga da da ga da da ga da go really fast it sounds like da 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 if i was to do ta ta ka ta ta ka ta ta ka ta ta ka ta fast ta ta ka ta ta ka ta ta ka ta ta ka ta it's just a little bit clearer first you want to be able to do it with ease and then you want to be able to do it quickly and then the third step will be to clear it up so if you need to start with a da da ga da da ga da da ga da da ga da, that's absolutely fine. And then later on, get to ta ta ka ta ta ka ta ta ka ta ta ka ta. What I do is combine a D and a T with a G and a K, sort of like a da 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 ga da da ga da da ga da, somewhere in between the two. Now let's put this to the instrument. Da da ga da, da da ga da, da da ga da, da da ga da. And what I recommend you do is hold your instrument and do this with your hand. Just saying it. Da 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 If you cannot do it that fast right now, do it at your speed. Ta ta ka ta 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 ka ta 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 ka ta 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 ka ta. Here we go. Can you play this now? If it's slower, that's fine. What a lot of people do at this speed is they, they lock up the throat, they lock up the tongue, and they lock up the air and get a duck, 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 duck. Keep everything open. Soft neck. example, starting slowly and then getting faster. The next step is to be able to do this across different notes. And I recommend a descending chromatic scale. So we will go C, B, B flat, A, ta ta ka ta, sing, ta ta ka ta, sing, ta ta ka ta, 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 then playing it. Same. Ta da ga dong, ta da ga dong, ta da ga dong. 
town, Tataka town, Tataka town, Tataka town, Tataka town, town. As we have people at all different levels doing this video class, go ahead and stop the video at any time it gets to your speed. Now I'm going to go Game Busters. The next step. Let's do this slowly. Saying and then playing. Saying, playing. All right, now stop the video and work your way up to as fast as Steve can play, and then we're going to play it really fast, my speed. All right, Steve's speed. Wonderful. What I would do is I would do a whole major scale, like... And then I would go higher from G flat and do a G flat major scale that way till you go really high. And then you play it. Just like that. Now, as mentioned, the Carmel Venice tutorial comes later, but that was a demonstration on how you say it, sing it, play it, watch your valves in the mirror. The other one, as a reminder from the beginning, you hold the fingers in front of your face so you can see your fingers as you're tonguing.